Hey guys, what's up? Sex time CHDX back, and today I'm basically going to be bringing you a really basic tutorial on how to make a combination lock. This one's really simple. Three, two, one. Two, the door opens as I enter the combination. Come in. Reset it, and the door is closed. And say I enter the password wrong, it will not open, just like I'm showing you here. So. Like, you guys might have been saying, it doesn't. It opens no matter what password you use, it doesn't. And then after you do that, you have to go and reset it. You can't change the password after you do that. And then you can go and do it. So right here, I want to show you all. Let me fly over somewhere else on this world. This very mystical world. Minecraft. <laughs> and basically, all you're going to want to do, go one block over from each other, build it up. And you can do this with more locks. It's not... It's more jumbled up, but it's not more complicated. It's the same exact thing, just over and over again. You might get a little confused on which one's which. And right here, you just want to do this. This is the first part. It's pretty simple. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to ask you guys if I should get a Mac or a different computer. As y'all, most people know, my computer runs pretty slow. I mean, you can probably see it in this video. It is lagging a lot. So... I know I'm getting a new computer, I got the money to buy it right now, so if you guys got any suggestions on what kind of computer I need, just comment. I mean, I'm taking it in all considerations. And on this first block right here, you're going to want to do this outside part first, just like that. The questions, that's the easiest way to do it. So right here, you just connect that to the back of the block, and you're going to want to do that for each one. You're going to want to make them about one block apart from each other. So that way it doesn't take up too much room and you can make sure that you have them all set up. These ones don't really matter. I usually like doing this way. It works for me. I'm pretty sure any ways it work for you. And right here, the last one, 3x3, three three, torch, torch, you can do it any way you want. It'll work. And line, don't let it torches there, line. And there you go. So now all you gotta do is link these all up. As you can see, I did not link this up yet. And right there. Kind of made a mess. And right here for the last one. There you go. Now that I got all this linked up, you're gonna wanna link all these up. This is pretty simple. You just bring it out, bring it back into the block. Bring it out, bring it back into the block. And there you go. That should light up. And as you guys can see, if I bring this out, and if I bring it over, just like that, it will indeed work. <laughs> I love using this whole kind of time wording. It will indeed work, but yeah, see, you just got to bring that over, cut off the circulation from the redstone, and you can make it ways where if you build it more spread out, you won't have to do that. But this is one way to do it. There are plenty of other ways to do it. And right here, I'm just going to use a red block to bring it over just so I don't get it confused with any other blocks. And there you go. Now I just build this little bridge or connect it. Bring it down, bring it forward. I'm going to bring it forward a couple blocks. And there you go. So now whenever you enter the combination, it should work. So three, two, for the moment of truth, one. And there you go, it opened. But now we're not done. We're going to make the reset lock. And this, since I got a reset from both sides, um, you're just going to bring this side out from the side of that block, bring it back in. And for the sake of this, we are going to use a pressure pad, or pressure plate, whatever you guys want to call it. And that will see how the door is open. I press it, it closes. And you can also, so whenever you go inside, if you want to show to behind you, you just bring it out from the back of the block, just like that, make sure it's a block behind that, bring it out some, and you're going to want to put a Reese, or um, redstone repeater somewhere in there, just so it gets enough energy. And this I like to bring up right next to the door, that way right as you walk in the door, you have it right there next to you. And I want to put another redstone repeater just for the sake that it doesn't mess up. And yeah. So from there on, um, now you just gotta put your block, make sure I can close the staining on it, put your block, put your 
your button. And this way, whenever you walk inside the door, it, you can set it from inside. So as you can see, it opens up. And hold on, I blocked off a thing over here somewhere, connected them. Let's see where that is. Oh, right here. No. Oh, um, it's connecting to something. Oh, okay, it's connecting to this little button right here. So, I'm going to move that button out of the way, because it's repeating it. And let me bring out one more to the side. And there you go. Now, once you put the button down, this will open. I mean, we already set this over here. And now, for the sake of it, three, two, the moment of truth, one, and now you can walk through, press your button, and there you go, it closes. So now I'm just going to build a simple wall around it. I use pink, so that's what I accidentally pressed. And yeah, I mean, y'all can skip for the rest of the tutorial. I'm just going to, or you guys don't have to watch the rest. It's basically just me building the wall around it. And yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions on my computer problem, please just comment. I mean, I don't want to hassle you guys about it. I know it's not really you guys' problem, but it helps me bring out content, and it'll help me bring it out faster with the faster processor. And I honestly don't know the processor and the Mac. And I'm sorry for that, but <laughs> I mean, I just went and looked. I found one with one terabyte of data, and I thought it was funny, and that should hold it up long enough. And there you go, the wall. I'm not going to cover up the button for the sake of time, but this and my one terabyte computer, it's pretty big screen, has a good graphics card, all that, so it should run just fine. And there you go, you got it inside your house, you can walk around, and just remember to rate and comment, you know, if you like this video, subscribe, I'm bringing out videos all the time just like this, and it helps out a lot, but thank you. Peace out.